Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tim. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be going over the top five best traps in Call of Duty Zombies. Now, in order for a trap to be on this list, it has to be able to be purchased. So if there's some sort of trap that you can't actually purchase, then it's not going to be on this list. Also, keep in mind that this is my own personal opinion. So if you disagree, that's totally fine. Let me know down in the comments, actually, what your guys' favorite trap is because there's so many good ones, such a big variety, and this is going to be my own personal preference. Let's aim for 40 likes on this video, guys. That'd be so great greatly appreciated but anyways guys let's hop right into this number five spot all right guys so the number five spot has got to go to the fan trap from mob of the dead now the reason why i decided to put this trap above so many others is simply how badass it is i mean look it it is shredding these zombies now it is in a little bit of a weird location in the warden's office because when you activate it from one side you really got to watch your back on the other however i think it's great it's only a thousand points and it's just so badass i absolutely love this one and that's your number Number five spot coming in at the number four spot it's got to be the acid trap from mob of the dead now you can see in this gameplay brutus as soon as i turn it on is about to deactivate it because he's a dick but anyways that's not the point the reason why everyone likes this trap so much is because a lot of people tend to train in the cafeteria on this map you just hoard up the zombies bring them right through that little hallway press the button and watch them melt it is absolutely amazing to watch these zombies just disintegrate right in front of you it's a great sight and the reason why it's not higher up in the list is because it does a lot of damage to the player but still an amazing trap comes in at number four coming in at number three guys we have the og the original electric trap the first one to ever be introduced into zombies now the reason why i like this so much is not only is it very very nostalgic however it happens to be one of the most powerful ones it's in a lot of different locations on a lot of different maps and it's really great for getting the high rounds on maps such as Doris, Varuk, you name it electric trap has a good chance of being on the map really i absolutely love this one really really creative back in the day on Varuk when we first got introduced to it it was like ah damn we got a new electric trap what does this thing do man it didn't disappoint. So it comes in at the number three spot. Coming in at the number two spot, guys, we have the Death Ray from Der Eisendrak. Now, not only is this located in one of the best training spots on the map, however, it is really, really efficient for taking out the Panzer. All you gotta do is turn on the thing, grab your upgraded Haymaker, upgraded Brecky, just spam the Panzer, and he is as good as gone. It's also just really efficient for taking out zombies in general. You need to activate it to actually get one of the Ragnarok pieces, and with all those things combined, and plus the way it looks and the way it feels with the Tesla coils, just, just electrocuting and vaporizing these zombies, I think it's great. Slightly better than the Electric Trap, even though it's not as nostalgic, uh, but that's gonna be our number two spot. Before we get into that number one spot, guys, we have a few honorable mentions. One of them is going to be the Sniper Tower from Mob of the Dead. Now, the reason why this one didn't come on the list is simply because it isn't as reliable as some of the other traps. You kind of have to hope that it kills a zombie that's right next to you if you're in, like, a really, really bad situation. And when you upgrade it by shocking it in Afterlife, the RPG upgrade really isn't much better. I think it's actually worse because it makes crawlers. However, I think that this is a great trap. Definitely one of the better ones. That's why it's an honorable mention. I just think it isn't quite top five material, but that's going to be that. And the other one, guys, is going to be the fire trap on Keynote or Toten and Ascension. Now, the one on Ascension is a little bit better for taking out monkeys, and I think it's really great. But there's also one in Kino. Not even a lot of people know about this one, or they just don't care to use it either way. But I think it's great because I just love watching the zombies just burn. It's great, great time watching those guys burn like little marshmallows, you know? And also, I think that it is just, I don't know, it's great. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, let's head into the number one spot, guys. The best trap in all of Call of Duty Zombies. The number one spot. Guys, hands down, it's got to go to the Flogger. Now, most of you guys may have been expecting this to be the number one spot, but let's talk about it. So, first of all, it's only 750 points, so it's cheaper than most traps. And I mean, just look at it. Just look at the Flogger, ladies and gentlemen. It's just an instant propeller that flings the zombies into the wall instantly kills them just shreds them to pieces and on shinonuma a trap like this is a necessity because the wonder Wolf and the ray gun they're both great but eventually there's going to be a little bit of a drop off round and you're going to be struggling with ammo and this flogger really really will be able to take out those zombies nice and efficiently now when we first started playing shinonuma after we had only seen an electric trap on verrucht and we saw this thing it was just like what the hell it was like the biggest wtf moment ever it was absolutely 
incredible. This is my favorite trap by far, and I think it is the best. So there is your number one spot, guys. So guys, that is going to conclude the video. Like I said in the beginning, if you want to drop a like, let's aim for 40 likes on this. That would be insane. Leave a comment telling me your favorite trap because there's so many. Also, guys, subscribe if you're new here for more top fives. And I have a different series going on in case you didn't know. It is the zombie map tournament, so I suggest you check those out if you haven't. I'm going to be live streaming a little bit more often now, and I hope you guys have an amazing day. See you in the next video.